Bad boy. Fuck. I don't know if he's dangerous or not. Oh, wow. Northside, do it into non. Is it the hardest, most brutal paved climb on the planet? It's where the king cobras might bite your ankles, drag you into the forest, and eat you alive. Do it into non. Northern Thailand, Thailand's highest peak. Let's find out. It's 5.17 and Camelback's going on for water, helmet, and talking quiet like he's really still sleeping. I've got a penny bag, actually, a penny bag, a really. tool, full of stuff, full of stuff. Um, Companies, food, drinks, I've got juice, I've got water, I've got some uh, stuff in here, I've got to get in, charged, everything's good, the chain's looped. And we're going to go down to Doi into non direction. Not, I don't feel the best, but we'll see how we go. And I'm running no jersey just for the first bit until daylight really breaks. Stay a bit cooler, stay a bit cooler. Just past someone from the festival doing early morning training. That's pretty rad. That's pretty rad. And I'm, right, I'm riding here on Canal Road. This is Canal Road. Take it all the way down. I'll leave a Strava link down below of today's ride. Do, am I going to make it to Doi, Doi into non or not? We'll soon find out. So the sun's up now, and always keep your head looking forward, always be looking at the road because there's Buddha, uh, Buddhists walking around, there's monks walking around, there's dogs, there's monkeys, there's chickens, there's motorbikes coming your lane, there's cars coming your lane, so always have your head up. If you look down at your Garmin, look at your phone, look up before you look down. Always be paying attention. Stay safe. Do, do, gong, gong, gong. It's one of the smoothest roads in the world. Look at this and look how smooth it is. I'm just actually stopping. There's a little snail down here. Zoom on him. He's heading over. He or she's heading over there. That's too dry. I'm going to put the snail back in the forest. And uh, you can throw snails. They're not too bad. All good. There we go. Good thing about snails, they always wear a helmet so you can throw them back into nature. But look at this road. Beautiful. That's what I love about riding the bike. You can stop, help out nature. Just choose your own adventure. Get it done. Carbon up. Gravel road. We're on about 12% gradient here, and that's going to kick up to 20%. And there's a whole bunch of these 8% signs the whole way down. They must have just had a fucking <laughs> a bunch of 8% signs left over. And they're just pitching them up, but this is way more than fucking 8%. I'm in the 34, 32, uh, 300 watts and like 30 cadence, or 40 cadence. It is fucking epic steep. Sweating like a mofo. 15%, 50 cadence, 270 watts. And a 34, 32. All the fuckers out there say, so you don't need 34, 32. You fuckers don't just ride what we ride. I could use way easier gears than this. This is a door into nine back way. Good choice, Vegard, good choice. Little stop, the racks just slip down a little bit, and it's <laughs> rubbing on the tire. It's fine like that. But this is, listen, listen. There's no one around here, right? This is, if this was in Australia, this would get vandalized. The fuck, all this shit would get stolen. Just people would fucking take a dump on here. This motorbike would be stolen or be burnt. This one's got the shirt, pants. Just like this shit would be just fucking, or this would just be burned in Australia. That would be stolen. You know, this is, this is Thailand, man. This is rural Thailand where people respect each other's shit. And it's pretty fucking awesome. So you fix this rack and get on the road. I dedicate this ride to uh, Abdullah and Joey, who uh, just did a fucking great effort in last year when they wrote up Doi so into Non on the Sprite, Sprite juice. This is one of the most epic rides in Thailand. It is just all uphill. It is fucking awesome. I have to put this in your bucket list. The back door to Intanon. It's fucking awesome. It's 
So the crossroad here, this is how high up we are. No one, no Ferrari has come here. This is all in tire. That sign down there is all in tire. You gotta go this way down here. It's all, all the directions are in tire. So it's pretty epic. But this is where you go. When you hit this blue sign, the Buddha, turn left down there. All those pussies out there who say, ah, oh, I don't run compact cranks or easy gearing. Like, you guys don't even fucking do epic shit, man. You just don't even do epic shit. So, zip it. Riding, you can see that, see that car behind me. It's a recycling van. And they had, because yeah, it was rooster. Yeah, like, it's recycling cans and stuff. with chicken. So I stopped and gave them my Sprite cans and juice bottles and crushed them with my cycling shoes. Now just tripping out. That's like, just totally fucking random. It was awesome, man. Don't chuck shit in the bin. Motherfucking recycle it. The dogs aren't here. Hey. Have a look. It was a little dingo. Got the bird. The road has literally washed away. Do you even climb, bruh? You're getting so high up. So fucking steep. The road is just fucking falling off. That's just a fucking sheer drop over the backside of this. So be careful. Pay attention. Viper is really deadly. Poor little fella got hit by a car, so pretty. So what the fuck, these, these, these could kill you. I'll leave on the road. An eagle or some bird will eat it pretty quick. Cool, the guards just gave me a discount. You've got to pay 300 baht to get into Doi into non-national park. And I roll through and they say, you got tickets? No, yeah, and he goes, all right. Oh, you ride a long way, we'll give you a discount. So I got it for 150 baht, it's uh, 300. <laughs> pretty random, pretty cool. So make sure you got some money with you. Otherwise, they'll shut the gate. Bad boy. Fuck. I don't know if he's dangerous or not. Oh, wow. Look at the colours. Oh, it's aggressive. Give a hand, buddy. I don't know if he's dangerous or not. Let's look to uh, sort of tie red back or something. Tie Black Widow. We'll help him across. He's stuck on the road. He's going to get squashed. So we'll give him a hand over there. Alright buddy, just so stay on, I'll give you the hand. I'll give you a little hand over. Help the red back across the road. Wow, so pretty. He's trying to go down the hill. Just stay with me, buddy. Stay with me. Oh, I'm just gonna leave this barrier and put him over here. There we go. Been there. Yeah. Sweet. I just threw him in there in the darkness, it won't dry out. Wow, so pretty. If you know what sort of spider that was, let me know down below. Fuck, that was pretty. Doing it tonight, the most epic climb in the world. Here on the back side, I'm doing 40 cadence, 15% in my easiest gear, 34, 32. Out of altitude. I need some bigger gears. This little temple. That was in Australia. I think it was 12 hours before I got fucking smashed the fuck up. That's crazy, Australia is. It's full of money. That'd be snip, snip. 15 seconds you're in. One of the locks is not even locked. But, Thailand. No worries. This little bad boy. Wow, fuck, that's epic. Make us hear the little sounds you making. Try to intimidate the on. Oh, it's got a hard shell. Amazing how strong the exoskeleton is. Let's keep picking up the other limb going a sec. Wow, Beetle City today. This guy's trying to get a free ride. Well, I'll leave him up here. There we go. So I just... Here we go. I'll give him a little flick into the bushes. Kind of strong, mate. No, there's one we flicked. Can't give him the flick. We'll give him the do the old leaf trick. Come on, little fella. He likes me. There we go. This is the beauty. Do you know this is like there's a little house, not house, a little drink station. You get rice and vegan soy sauce and soft drinks in there. And uh, they're always charging the garment up. The garment with thousand battery rice pretty shit, but. If you bring a little portable charger, you're good to go. Good to go. This is just made by Topeak. Sort of water resistant. Ah, oh, 
it's beautiful. It's warm again. Just descended for five minutes and warm again. Danger. You come riding along, you're talking to your buddy. Boom, your fucking front wheel hits that. You are motherfucking losing your teeth right there. Your teeth are gonna fucking bite that motherfucking tarmac. American History X. Always, always have your fucking eyes up the road. So I found a river overpass and I wash off all my all the grime and that. And then uh, put my arm covers and leg covers on. Chin all, all, uh, all good. Been a great day. Floyd Landers taught me the hydration. Oh, Floyd, Floyd was on the gas. All your fucking heroes on the gas, honey. Don't be so naive. But definitely, I feel like, I feel ready for another fucking Doi Intonon. on. Mm, not really, but I feel really good. That's, you lower your core temperature up the top of Doi Intonon, it's cold. You come down, it's hot as fuck. Jump in the creek. Don't slip over and crack your head. Wash my helmet, wash my face. Just wash my whole body. Good as roll, good as gold, mate. Good as gold. Yeah, I know you raffle lovers think I look like a dork, but fuck, at least I'm cool. Cool as a motherfucking cucumber. And also it speeds up recovery. You get your lo core temperature lower, your recovery, your enzymes kicking in, heat stress is minimized, so tomorrow I'll be like, I'll recover faster. So look like a dork, but be stronger on the bike the next day. It's all about recovery. So the sun's going down here at 7-Eleven, and uh, I'm gonna take off the kit now because it's no longer dripping wet, but uh, the sun is going down, so I can cool off a bit more. But it's just better get, better be a little bit hotter than getting sunburned, yeah? Well, that was dripping wet before. <laughs> Speaking of dripping wet, your mum. Last. That was the most hardcore rainstorm I've ever ridden from my life. Epic. So we've got 222 k's on the clock. And back home. Might feel a lot better. What's that light flashing still? Let's go for walking here. So I'll show you the light I'm using today. This is the Bontrager Flare. Really good light. Bontrager Flare are USB chargeable, so I'm not throwing batteries in the bin. Really good. I'd put it, yeah, really good. I literally got a flat tire in the fucking elevator. Look at that! Yes! And I got home. Ah, <laughs> oh, I guess I like it.